Well, a new year calls for a new weekly segment, and this one we are really excited about. Welcome, everybody, to Inside the Program. I'm Kendall Williams with Triumph NIL, joined alongside head coach Brent Pry. Coach, new segment this year, switching it up a little bit. What excites you the most about what we're doing here with the segment? Yeah, I love talking about our program, uh, the people that make it go. We have so many different departments that are impactful in what everybody sees on Saturdays. So uh, to highlight some of those people and their efforts, love doing that. Well, we couldn't think of a better group to start with than with the strength and conditioning department. A lot of work from those guys down there. Let's start talking about Dwight. Better known around here is Deej. I know he came from Penn State with you. Can you tell us about your history with him and, and how he ultimately ended up here? Yeah, so fortunate to have him here. You know, obviously a long relationship with him and his father, uh, who was our strength coach at Penn State and at Vanderbilt. But uh, Deej is uh, a high energy guy, which you have to have in that department. He's also a relational guy. Like he just, you know, he's constantly having conversations with these players about more than just football. He knows these guys as well as I do. And, uh, you know, he drives them, he pushes them, he has hard conversations with them. Uh, he's everything that you need in a strength coach. Everything you need a strength coach obviously sounds like he has great relationships with your players. What kind of, I know he has a lot of experience working with guys that go to the NFL too, that relational side, but also that, that talent side, right? What does someone like him bring to your team of guys that are looking to go to that next level play in the NFL? They want a trusted source that uh, can identify weaknesses, can grow and develop them in the right way uh, to reach all their potential. You know. We have position coaches that are responsible for development on the field. These guys are responsible for development of the skill set that allows them to do what they do on the field. Uh, it goes hand in hand and it's equally important. The other thing I would say is, you know, there's proof and evidence in improvement and strength gains and speed gains and agility and explosiveness that's improved. Guys see that. And we have that with Coach Gault. You know, there's improvements all over our program right now, especially evident with our second year players. The strides they've made, Caleb Woodson, Mose Phillips, Aiden Green. And, uh, you know, again, it's the position coaches, but it's that strength staff as well. Talking about growth in, in between your play and within your players, I want to talk about Kamari Copen really quick. A really <laughs> big back squat PR this offseason. I know, you know, we kind of think these guys are just down in the weight room, right? Pushing them to get those big weights and, and run faster and all that kind of stuff. But what's the translation for that? Why is it so important that Kamari Copeland can squat to 605 pounds? Well, it is a sign of explosiveness and strength, you know, and it's such a leverage game at defensive tackle. You know, those guys are going, going against these big center guards all game long and, you know, that strong lower body to to strain and to fight leverage and fight pressure, uh, really important. And uh, Kamari's not one of those guys that's 6'3", 310. You know, he's 280, 285, so to be strong and explosive is going to be really important for him. Big record broken and it was got a lot of attention. Tell me about, I mean, J.J. Watt calling out? What does yeah. that mean to kind of see your, one of your guys getting that? I'm advice? happy for Kamari. I'm happy for our guys that, uh, you know, his accomplishment was pretty awesome, but then for it to get recognized like that's great for our program, great for Kamari. Um, I think the, the team had a lot of fun with it. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's one of those freaky guys in the weight room. And uh, that was just one example. Lots of excitement coming up, but all in all, it seems like you've got a great department down there training those guys. What would you say is one trait about them? One word to describe the overall, what they bring to your team weekend? Yeah, I, I would say this. Deej has done a great job with, with his staff. They work very, very well together. They got a great plan of attack for our guys, for our team. From Jarrett Ferguson, who was a really good player here. He's a staple around Virginia Tech. Brandon Dillard played here. Greg Allen, I mean, Ryan Hardy. All these guys pour into our football players all summer, all camp, all winter. You know, they spend as much time with our players as our position coaches. So he's got a great staff. They work well together. That's how they're able to accomplish what they accomplish. Coach, I think there's a common misconception that these guys down in the weight room, just push them to lift those big weights, push them in their runs and everything. But what else do they bring to your team? How do they, how do they bring out the best in your guys? Yeah, Coach and his, and his strength staff are around with just about everything we do. Uh, 
they're at the team hotel. They help organize meals, stretches, recovery. They travel with us. They entertain recruits and meet with recruits, uh, explain programming, you know, lifts, improvements, recruits and families. Uh, they're going to talk through a rehab protocol that would work in assistance with, with the athletic training department. There's so many areas that the strength staff is involved in our program and enhancing the experience for our players. We're looking forward to seeing a lot of togetherness out on the field as the Hokies travel to Nashville this weekend to take on Vanderbilt in their season opener this Saturday, August 31st at 12 p.m. Eastern time. Hey, let's get everybody to Nashville. Make sure you make it in the stadium. 11 a.m. kick. See you there. Go Hokies.